All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining on this video session. So, this is on the 6th of July, and this is on Tuesday. So, this is not the live stream, but this is a video session. So, I hope you enjoy today's video session today. And uh, today's talk about the uh, the um, the market after the news. There was a news just came out in AUD, Australia. And um, I would like to talk about what to think about after the news with using Ichimoku lines. So right now, this is at 6, 16 a.m. in UTC time zone. So let's get started. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information today is uh, basically based on my own understanding experience. So when you take trades, please do within risk management. So, in that sense, let's look at the AUD pairs. So first, let me talk about the AUD USD. This is a daily chart, and um, right now, as you can see, the price is coming back to the Kijun Sen, and it's about to reach the Kijun Sen. But the Kumo flat and the Kijun Sen flat itself, so the market is retracing, and I would say that there is no trend in the market. But uh, if you look at the forward chart, for example, this is, it broke the Kumo upwards. You see the Kumo broke upwards, and we had this uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross, and Chikou Span breakout. And Kumo is all even twisted here. So when you see this setup in forward chart, you might think that, oh, this is up, so we have to buy. And you might buy here, and the market can retrace backwards anytime soon. And let me tell you the reason why it retraces back like that this way. And this is why I don't take a buy here. It's because a couple of reasons. One is that the Kumo itself right here is too small and too, too thin. I mean, um, the Kumo just twisted bullish. And when you just see the Kumo twisted bullish like this, this uptrend can be fake and it can retrace backwards anytime soon. That's the Ichimoku nature, so you have to look at the Kumo twist and also how far the Kumo has been extended is the key. So in this case, uh, I won't take a buy, but I will wait for the Kumo to develop more thick and longer and up Kumo, and then we'll look for the buy chance later on. So that's one thing. And other thing, the reason why I think it's retracing is that the price is near the resistance level. The previous resistance level is uh, over here from the 25th of June, and this is at 0 0.7616 level. You can clearly see that there is a resistance level, and let me see if I zoom out. Um, there was a, right here, there, there was a range over here, a consolidation. So the market is respecting this line, this price level of 0 0.76 one six level, so that also means that once the market reaches there, it might retrace backwards, or um, there might be a fake breakout, and also retrace backwards too. So, the bottom line is that when you take a trade in this area, uh, you might get a loss. So, this is the second reason why I don't take a buy here. So, what I do here in this case is that I wait for the price breaks. The resistance level clearly in forward chart and then we try backwards and if it goes on uptrend for example on the n wave continuation then i will look for the buy chance in that sense but until then i wait it's my strategy and if the market reverses backwards and continue to be in the range like this then of course i won't take a buy because it's range and it might retrace backwards so if you use Ichimoku 5 lines correctly, then you know when exactly to take trades and when exactly to avoid taking trades. And as I mentioned before, the trader's job is not only when to take trades, but uh, it's also about when not to take trades. So that's AUDUST as one of the examples. So let me screen, uh, let me see the next one, AUDCADPR. Okay, because AUD is strong at the moment, uh, we have this up move, and it also broke the Kumo upwards, 
But in this case, um, the, the kumo hasn't twisted yet. Right? This is still bearish kumo, and there is no kumo twist yet. So in that sense also, this kumo breakout can be fake, and also the price is near the resistance level also at 0.9361 level. There was a twice of resistances, so um, even if the market goes up and reaches that level, it might retrace backwards. So in this particular pair also, I wouldn't take a buy. I would wait for the clear breakout of the resistance level and then retrace. And if it goes up, pushes back up, then I will look for the buy chance. And that is, once again, that's because there is no Kumo twist yet. If the Kumo is up Kumo and long and thick Kumo, then I, will, I might be taking a buy before the breakout, but uh, the Kumo hasn't twisted yet, and that's why I don't take a buy still. I prefer to wait until the clear breakout comes in in the forward chart. So let me check the another AUD pair. So AUD JPY, this one is also up because of the strong AUD at the moment. And here you see the Kumo, Kumo twist and also uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross and Chikospan breakout and also Kumo breakout. So once again, in this case also, you might think that this is uptrending, so you might take a buy and expect the market goes up. However, the Kumo is too small and also resistance level is nearby at 84.26 level. So in that sense also, this is too close and I don't take a buy. I wait for the clear breakout of the resistance and then when it happens, when there's a clear breakout of the resistance and retraces and goes up this way, then uh, you will see the Kumo to be up thicker and longer like this. And then that will be a better setup to look for the buy in that timing. Otherwise, if it retraces backwards, then I won't take a buy on this one. So finally, let me took a look at the AUD Swiss run. So AUD Swiss run also, this is up trend. It looks to be breaking the resistance level. Um, and so you might think that this is bullish and you might think that this is a buy by chance, but once again, it's not because the Kumo is too tiny and too thin. And also there is a breakout, but I would say that this is breaking resistance level. So this is forward chart and on this forward chart, it takes uh, two, and, two and a half hours to close the candlestick. So I would prefer to wait for the candle close in forward chart. And if a candle close will be above the resistance, resistance level, then from next candlestick, I might be looking for the buy chance, but we never know. This candle close might be below the resistance level and if it happens, then you will see there is a like a weak point in upwards and close price will be below the resistance. And when the market sees this set up, then there might be a sell off afterwards. So that's why unless I mean, until you see the candle close, um, you never want to take trades in this kind of market. So that was a brief explanation of uh, when I stop looking for the trading edges by Kumo and the resistance levels after the news. So hopefully you enjoyed this video session. If you liked it, please press a good button, like button. And if you can subscribe, that would be great so that I will upload a new videos or new live streams on this YouTube channel. So I will see you in the next one. Until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.